What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're about to talk about this soft plastic right here with this skirt material coming out of it. I mean guys, have you ever seen anything like it? We're going to we're going to talk about and see if this right here will help us put more fish in the boat definitely today with the pressured and in tough conditions. I know with the new thing that's kind of came out in the last year is the hairy dice, a little square dice looking bait that has these little things coming out. And now look, we got a swim bait with it. We got this creature bait right here here, and then even a Cinco, and we're going to talk about many more. But guys, before we get into that, hey, if you're thinking about a new boat, selling your boat, looking at something, it can be a bass boat to pontoon boat, or if there's any of your boating needs, check out Futural Marine. Futural Marine is a family-owned, operated business, has three stores in Arkansas, but they can serve you no matter where you live throughout the country. They've sold people boats from Florida to California, and guys, if there's anything you need or interested in, hey, they are going to help you, and they're going to serve you. Check them out. The link will be in the description. Okay, so guys, I'm going to talk about this real quick. So last year when I started hearing about the hairy dice thing, that little square dice deal with some little tentacles coming out, I was just like, wow, this is just crazy, you know, something different. I mean, now, you know, and, you know, and, and I'm just like, I just don't know about it. But then um, I started thinking about myself like, hey, what if we put these in just normal soft plastics? So I started thinking about it myself like, how can I do it? But then, guys, one day I went down to Lake Fork. You know, I go to Lake Fork quite a bit. And in one of the bait shops, there was a whole wall of this Tight Lines product. Tight lines UV is kind of what they say. Now, one thing that kind of caught my eye when I walked in the bait stores, they had black lights there. And the black lights would go off these and kind of make them look cool and shiny. And uh, there's just that's, that's kind of their selling point. It's like, hey, uh, the fish's eyes see a little different than us. And, you know, when the sun hits these things and, and, and uh, hits these baits, they kind of get off a different color, right? So it was pretty intriguing. So I got me a couple. And it's got me a couple here and, I'll, and guys I got a pretty cool website uh, I have no affiliation with this company okay guys I don't you know I don't even know anybody that throws these in Arkansas I kind of bought these and brought them back up here uh, and I've caught some fish with the Senko already and and you know I've not caught nothing big if I caught anything big you guys would have heard all about it first um, and so I kind of really wanted to catch fish with these before I shared them but I just got to share them with you guys but their website's going to be in the description check it out got a bunch of cool products so the three though that I have that I just bought bought the swim bait and then I bought the creature style bait and then the Cinco. Now, think about it's neat. Okay, and I've kind of seen them in the water a little bit. I kind of seen it with this. When it is, like this was Texas rig when I caught the fish with, and this is kind of a thicker Cinco. But when it's in the water, I mean, these things are going up and down and kind of creating a little bit of like a soft vibration around it, kind of giving it a little bit of a bulk. And it's just pretty neat. Now, I think there might be a time that these are going to help catch more fish. There's a time they just want a Senko, but I'm thinking in pressured situations or if they're real finicky, maybe during the spawn, that this can help you out. Right now at fall fishing, these potentially can, okay? But as you see, you know, when it's kind of even moving here, it's just there. Now just think about that in the water, just the extra little kind of glow it kind of has might entice a bass to bite. Now the swim bait one's going to be interesting, you know, because uh, like I, and I've known some people put these on some baits before you know like your creature baits when you're punching but they're always up front but now they're kind of in the middle so i'm kind of interested to see i've not thrown this one yet i've actually uh thought about tying this on and throwing on my next fishing trip and just seeing uh but guys i'm really excited about this one out of all of them i mean look at this guy it looks pretty sweet right here okay guys they got a variety of colors as you see uh and actually you can check them out on the website i just got a, i just got three different colors that, as you can tell right there i just you know i didn't go want to go buy a hundred dollars worth yet because i got to make sure i can catch fish with them first and anyway so but guys um like you know this one i don't know about it being wacky rig maybe wacky rig it can probably do something this guy right here think about this on the hover rig okay Ooh, i just thought about that I might need to, I shouldn't have shared that probably. Anyway, but this right here on the hover rig, look, I got some hover rigs right over here somewhere. I did have some hover rigs. I don't know where I put them. Uh, but guys, maybe this on the hover rig will, you know, be able to be able to do something. Where are all my hover rigs? I lost my hover rigs. Here they are. Hover rig right here. I mean, think about that guy on the hover rig. I mean, I shouldn't have talked about, shared about that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but guys, so let me know what you think. Have you... Do you have some of these? If you do and have caught fish, let me know. Share it in the comments. Uh, any, anyway, guys, 
Uh, if you have not and you'd like to try them out, let me know. Go ahead, get some, catch some fish with it, give me a heads up. I'm going to start giving these guys a shot. Uh, like I said, I've been throwing this one, caught some fish with it, nothing crazy. I've been flipping it in the grass, on the wood, and even throwing it in brush piles as well. Just Texas rig, throwing this in brush piles. But guys, let me know what you think about this. Is this just something that's uh, trying to sell? Are they just like, hey, it's different trying to sell? Or is there a time and place for it, okay? Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.